Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of JC Lee MD Shrink Wrapped Book Reviews. I'm your host, Jonathan Jaha Lee, a quadruple board certified child and adolescent psychiatrist uh, living and working in Los Angeles. Uh, and on this uh, channel of my channel, I review a lot of the literature that has been recommended to me both by patients and also by colleagues um, that I tend to recommend uh, to people that I see in my practice. Today's book is a bombshell, uh, and it comes from none other than Britney Spears, her uh, herself, uh, The Woman in Me, her memoir, uh, which dropped obviously, you know, several weeks ago. Uh, so many, so many things, including her history of an abortion, her conservatorship, um, and just her experiences growing up in the limelight. What I found so compelling about this book um, was that, you know, Brittany really is quite articulate and she's quite cogent in laying out just how crazy making, you know, the last 15 years have been in her life. And prior to that, you know, she's at the zenith of the entertainment industry, this like meteoric rise uh, to fame. And yet for the last 13 years, uh, up until, you know, the Free Britney movement, um, was under a conservatorship, essentially under the control and the Svengali-like uh, nature of her father, who she describes as an emotionally and at times physically abusive uh, alcoholic. Um, and what I found so astounding was that here is this this woman, you know, named one of the most powerful people in the entertainment, and I think at one point she was the most powerful person in the entertainment industry early in her career. Um, and yet was being controlled uh, as a puppet would be uh, by her father, who obviously, you know, uh, never really made it much further than being her father in his career, in his personal life, etc. Um, and had a number of, you know, cockamamie uh, construction and other kinds of contract kinds of jobs. So uh, what I, I really find fascinating as a, as a Canadian practitioner, you know, sort of living and working here in this system is just how something of this nature uh, could have gone on for so long. Um, and of course, the media has portrayed Britney um, as it has portrayed many powerful women as completely hysterical, cuckoo bananas, wackadoodle. Um, and what I found really engaging in her words was just why she would have undergone the tremendous amount of stress that she did. Many of the provocations, her shaving her head, um, her throwing an umbrella, a paparazzo, uh, you know, she explicates and, and sort of tells the story behind it. And who wouldn't, I mean, in a setting where you're being followed every day to the gas station and your children are being taken away from you, you're undergoing a stressful custody battle and everything is under constant media scrutiny. I mean, who wouldn't in this kind of situation um, go a little off, off kilter? And so what I found in reading this um, was in, in many ways something that was, you know, tremendously human um, and and relatable in what she was saying. Not that I'm like a mega pop star or whatever, but, but, but in reading her words, and also contemplating many of the experiences that the people that I see in my practice have gone through, um, it's really staggering to believe that even in this day and age, someone uh, of the particular ilk, uh, you know, and cloth from which her father was cut, could have so much power and control over arguably one of the most powerful uh, women in the entertainment industry. So if you are at all interested um, in psychology or human development or just biography, I mean, this book um, is is mega, mega, mega. I couldn't put it down. I think I, I read it in one sitting at a Starbucks. Um, and yeah, I would definitely recommend you uh, pick it up. It'll definitely last you longer than a Perez Hilton uh, you know, blog uh, or article um, and really give you all the juicy gossip and tea that comes straight from her own lips and pen. So until next time, um, love yourself. Don't let bullies uh, control you or take ownership of you and your voice and your person and um, happy reading.